Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to convert a table that has row, section, header fields into a proper table. So you may get the table like this sometimes where you have, uh, it looks like a normal table. You've got your columns that have your date, item, target, book, ship, and these are kind of regular columns and you, you could do analysis and charting on this. But there's an extra row above it that should be in its own column, not as a row. You have this name and then the actual name and then for the next kind of grouping you have a name and, and then a name and this should really be something like this where you have its own column, a name column with the individual names. Now you can do this in Excel by using some functions, if then functions and copy and paste and transpose and it's okay for a smaller subset of data but if you've got something large or you do this on a common basis, it's probably nicer to have some kind of way to automate it, make it easier to do. And that's where Power Query comes into play. And let's see how we can do that. So I have my raw data tab here. And since this is Excel 2016, I've got Power Query already part of it in the data tab. In previous versions of Excel 2010 or 2013, you're going to have to download it from Microsoft and enable it. But since we have 2016, let's go and see how we can bring it in. So we're going to do click data and click from table. And Excel is going to be smart enough to kind of figure out where our range of data is. It's a little bit too far out here, so we included column F. Let's not include column F here. Let's change that to go all the way to column E. All right. So it's going to go from A1 to E. And my table does my table doesn't have headers, so I'll go ahead and click that. We're going to add them later on. So I'll click OK. And it's going to go ahead and bring up the Power Query Editor. And this is where I'm going to do some, a little bit of manipulation, right? So you can see that there's a pattern here, of course. We have our names that are consistent here. And so what I want to do is I want to bring in a column. Uh, go to Add Column. And it's going to be a, called a Conditional Column. So if I click on that, so it's going to let me do some if-then type of conditional uh, parameters. So if this, you can see that there's a pattern here, right? It says name, 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 right? So if we have it, or this first column, if it equals name, so I'll just type in name, then I want to have an output where I can select some output of a column. And we're going to say column two, right? So if this, if there's a value here that says name, output whatever's in that column, and you can see it's Joseph here. So it's going to ignore everything else here until it gets down here, it's going to bring back Sally. So, but if it doesn't see anything, if it doesn't see name, then I'm going to say no. Click OK. And now you notice that it's done that, right? Every time you see a name, it puts it there. And I want to have this name repeat all the way down. So, I'll just go under the column. It's selected. Right click and select fill. Fill down. So, you have that all kind of filled down right there. I want to bring, I don't want uh, the name anymore because this name shows up in its own column, so I will filter that out. So I'll select that, go down the bottom, unselect filter for the name, click OK. And I can type in, these are the perfect headers that I need. Of course, there here I'll put in another header field. But since this is already available there, I'm going to promote those to be headers. So go under Home and click Use First Row as Headers. So they are going to show up now, date, item, target, booked, shipped. And this one I can change. I just change it now. Double click that, type in name. All right, press enter. Now these are dates. Uh, I forgot to bring these in. I forgot to change these as regular dates. You can notice it looks like a serial number, right? So if you're familiar with Excel, they Excel sees dates as serial numbers. And it brought it in as, it brought it into Power Query as a serial number. So I, all I need to do is just kind of change that to a date. So once I do that, it changes it. And since that last item there was um, part of the header, it, it made it an error, right? And so this is really nice where you can now just remove the errors, right? Click and we'll just go ahead and remove errors. So those get rid of those errors because all I want is dates there because now it removed the other header fields that were below for Sally and Guru, right? The date, item, target, booked, and shipped. Now I have my proper table. I can just bring it into my worksheet. Let's click close and load. Let's load it into the worksheet where um, we had this data just to see it side by side. So I have it in a table. Usually by default, it selects new worksheet. Let's put it into the existing worksheet. Let's put it in uh, H, H1 or H2. I'll just put H2. Click load. And it's going to put it here in cell H2. And you can see, so we see that we've turned this range of data 
into kind of a proper table format. We have, we have our date, item, target. These are our header fields. That name, a value pair, doesn't show up in its own row anymore. It's a column. So that's how we can turn a table that has row, section, heading, fields into a proper table using Power Query. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching. Thank you.